Hello, wonderful friends. Today's book is called Outside Over There. When Papa was away at sea and Mama in the arbor, Ida played her wonder horn to rock the baby still, but never watched. So the goblins came. They pushed their way in and pulled baby out, leaving another all made of ice. Poor Ida, never knowing, hugged the changeling and she murmured, How I love you. The ice thing only dripped and stared. And Ida Mad knew the goblins had been there. They stole my sister away, she cried, to be a nasty goblin's bride. Now Ida, in a hurry, snatched her mama's yellow rain cloak, tucked her horn safe in a pocket, and made a serious mistake. She climbed backwards out her window into outside over there. Foolish Ida, never looking, whirling by the robber caves, heard at last from off the sea her sailor papa's song. If Ida backwards in the rain would only turn around again and catch those goblins with a tune, she'd spoil their kidnap honeymoon. So Ida tumbled right side round and found herself smack in the middle of a wedding. Oh, how those goblins hollered and kicked, just babies like her sister. What a hubbub, said Ida Sly, and she charmed them with a captivating tune. The goblins, all against their will, danced slowly first, then faster until they couldn't breathe. Terrible Ida, the goblins said, were dancing sick and must to bed. But Ida played a frenzied jig, a hornpipe that makes sailors wild beneath the ocean moon. Those goblins pranced so fierce, so fast, they quick churned into a dancing stream. Except for one who lay cozy in an eggshell, crooning and clapping as a baby should. And that was Ida's sister. Now Ida Glad hugged baby tight, and she followed the stream that curled like a path along the broad meadow, and up the ring rilled round hill to her mamma in the arbor, with a letter from Papa saying, I'll be home one day, and my brave, bright little Ida must watch the baby and her mamma for her papa, who loves her always which is just what Ida did. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.